What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and I'm back again with my Ninja Speedy. I know a lot of my viewers and subscribers are big fans of stuffed peppers. Unfortunately, I'm really not. But I bumped into a recipe the other day. So today in the Ninja Speedy, we're going to make unstuffed peppers. They call it unstuffed pepper skillet usually on YouTube because they make it in the skillet, but we're making it in the Speedy. So guys, I'm using one pound of lean ground beef. You don't have to use lean. If you use regular ground beef, I just recommend, don't have to, I would recommend you drain it after you brown it because that's what we're going to do now. We're going to brown this meat and, and just start dumping. Oh, and by the way, I'm using Uncle Ben's rice because... Number one, that was that's the only rice in my pantry. <laughs> but I like to use Uncle Ben's rice because for me, I don't have to wash it like jasmine rice and pretty much every other rice. Um, and it's one to one ratio uh, with liquid to cook, you know, to cook it. So in other words, like for instance, this recipe calls for one cup of rice. So I would use one cup of water or one cup of broth. So it's just easy. So let's get this on and we're going to put it immediately on um, sear and saute mode on high. Leave it at five and start. Give it about five minutes to heat up and we'll get our ground beef right on in there. So at this point guys I'm going to cut up my onions and peppers. So we have one onion and we have three peppers. And I have what yellow, red and orange. Um, you in the recipe you use three green so we use whatever color peppers you have most people just use green because that's the most common but every other color pepper is sweeter and I, I just it's more vibrant in color and it's sweeter in taste so that works better for me but use whatever you have so what I'm gonna do different than the recipe calls for usually people saute their onions and peppers with the ground beef I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to saute my ground beef and then dump, at, just start dumping. And then we're going to just cook everything together. All right, five minutes have passed. I got my Evo oil sprayer since I'm using lean. I'm just going to help it out and just spray some um, avocado oil in there. Olive oil will be fine. Doesn't have to be avocado. And we're just going to dump our ground beef in there. And trust me guys, we're going to season this ground beef up really, really good. Now, I'm going to use my go-to seasoning, seasoning which is uh, garlic, salt, and black pepper. But I've seen people use steak seasoning for this recipe. So, use whatever you like. Of course, you must add some What's Your Sister Social Sauce. That gives it a great flavor. And I have a little bit of this liquid smoke left. Why not? That's, of course, optional. But that's just nothing but flavor right there. And like I said, this is my go-to seasoning right here. And I'm just going to liberally, liberally just season this and let it cook down. I got my pull and chop onion chopper in the house, by the way. And link will be in the description if you want to pick one up. You get the point. Alright. My ground beef is almost done. So at this point, just give it a little taste. See if you need to add some more salt. Maybe you want to add some pepper. Whatever you like. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. And I'm good to go. All right, everything is tasting how I want it to taste. So I'm gonna turn off sear and saute at this point. So at this point, you wanna add one cup of water or beef broth. I'm gonna add some um, bouillon cubes to this because I don't have any beef broth. And actually changing plans, I'm gonna use a cube of chicken bouillon because I just remembered I prefer that flavor with this type of recipe than beef anyway. All right, so now I'm gonna add my cup of rice in there and I'm gonna mix it around. 
because I'm going to just dump everything on top of this. I want the rice to get all of that liquid and juices from the meat. So I'll get that situated. And link will be in the description to this. This is awesome. Silicone tool. It's, it's really awesome. I use this on all my gadgets. We're going to dump our fire roasted diced tomatoes in there. Just going to layer that out. You probably don't have to do layer it out like this, but that, I'm just going to do it. not mixing it in I'm just spreading it out that's perfect and feel free to get creative I'm gonna add some basil seasoning to this I just saw it on in my pantry why not and I'm gonna add some red crushed peppers too just get creative of course those two things are optional you do not have to do that now I'm going to go ahead and add my onions and then finally my peppers. And when everything cooks, we're going to just give it a mix and eat. And remember guys, you can do this in any order. You could have put your onions in before the uh, roasted diced tomatoes. Alright guys, I just cut my peppers up. I cut them up manually and just put them in my onion chopper to throw in. Try and cut your peppers as even as possible. I did the best I could. <laughs> and I didn't use a chopper because I think it would have done it too, it would have cut it too much. Um, so I just decided to do it manually. I just add some of my go-to seasoning to this which is the pink salt, garlic, and black pepper. And even that step you don't have to do because remember, when we're all said and done, after we finish cooking this, if it needs, if it still needs anything, we still could add salt, garlic, pepper, whatever. So, it's all good. Now, we're ready. Let's close the lid. Alright, let's flip that up. All right, so let's get it on. We want to bring it down to steam. I'm going to change the time to 15 minutes, and I'm going to hit start. And to my new viewers and subscribers, at this point, it's just the machine is just heating the liquid up to whatever that steam temperature is. And then once it hits that, the countdown would start, which in this case is 15 minutes. All right, guys, the countdown's begun. I'll be back in under 15 minutes. Man, I wish you could smell the smells that are coming out this machine. The onions and the peppers, it's all throughout my kitchen. And the last thing we're gonna add is some cheese. Now the recipe just called for um, just any type of yellow cheese, mild cheese, sharp cheese, whatever have you. You put some into the rice, mix it in, and then cover the whole top with the cheese. I'm going to put mozzarella in the middle with some sharp and then cover the whole top with sharp. But the recipe just calls for sharp, a little in the middle, and just cover the top. But, you know, have fun with it. Add whatever cheese you like. All right, time's up. Let's see what we're working with. And remember, we have one other step left. I'm going to add the cheese. Well, we're going to mix it up, add the cheese, then air fry, and then we'll be done. There we have it, guys. And that's what I wanted. Look at my peppers. They don't look mushy. So let's give it a mix. Yeah, that's what I wanted. When I see other recipes of this, it looked mushy. And I, I, just, I just felt I could do better, and I did better. And there's nothing wrong with it being mushy, but why? <laughs> if you layer it right, it won't be. Well, at least in a device like this. If you're doing it in a skillet, then you don't have any choice. So let me just retract that statement. 
you don't have any choice. You're going to have one layer and then that's it. But in a device like this, we can layer it nice. And look at that. All right, let's get my cheese. Oh, yeah, but first, go ahead, give it a taste. Mmm. Well, that's good. If you feel it needs anything, go ahead and add it now before we add the cheese. And you'll be good to go. You know what? I am going to add something. I'm going to add some garlic powder and some. I already added some salt. Yeah, I think that's all it needs for mine. It's got a little kick to it. I taste everything else. And so now, while it's still hot, we want to add our mozzarella cheese. And again, that's optional. You could just put your whatever yellow cheese you got in there. Uh, that should be enough. And put some of my sharp cheese in there. Let's say like a little, like a half a cup of cheese to mix in your rice. You look at that. See the strings coming through? I like that. You don't have to do, but you know what would be good, but even better than Parmesan? You could do, I mean, better than mozzarella, Parmesan cheese. Because Parmesan cheese will, won't give you as much strings, but it will give you some. But to me, mozzarella, mozzarella doesn't really have much of a taste. It's just a, it has an effect, that string effect, but it, to me, it just doesn't have that taste. That's why I prefer Parmesan cheese, but, you know, I don't have any, so I had some extra mozzarella. So now, you know, make sure everything is kind of flat. This is smelling fantastic, guys. And this is a lot of food right here, guys. This is going to feed a lot of people. And you've seen how easy it was to make. Now we're just going to get our cheese on here, and then we're just going to air fry this. In fact, uh, I'll put it on broil. I'm going to use the broil function on camera, I don't think. So we'll do it today. Alright, just make sure everything is kind of leveled. You don't have to, but for me, you know, for my thumbnail, I guess it would be that would make sense. <laughs> Alright, let's close it up. The switch down. And like we said before, we're going to broil. Which is basically air fry, but a little hotter. See, it's 450. We'll hit start. How long do I want to do it? Uh, it shouldn't take longer than five minutes. I'll check it at three. It should take maybe three or four minutes, but we'll see. Now, of course, the video recipe that I watched, person had to take their skillet to the oven, but look, we don't. Look at that. Five, and I did five minutes on broil, by the way. But this could be you. You see it. And the best way to eat this, guys, is you take it out like this, and you flip it upside down. That's the best way. Look at that, guys. This could be you. It's paper towel time. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. All right, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. Now, this is well cheesy. give you guys a good bite you first you got it mmm that is so good guys that is so good this thing is so cheesy it's so good Got it. Mm. 
everything just came together with this. I taste everything. So don't skip anything that I put in. Except like the red crushed peppers. Some of you don't like hot, but everything else is a must. You got it? Now, this stuffed pepper, unstuffed pepper, I'll eat this anytime. Any time. Take one more bite with me. You got it? Mmm. You gotta make this, guys. You have to make this. Absolutely fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic, guys. And we're talking under $15 to make this. This is feeding four or five people easy. Easy. And I'll leave everything in the description that I did. Super easy to make this, guys. But I promise you, you and your family will love it. I didn't think I would love, love it this much, to be honest with you. I knew I'd like it, but I'm definitely making this again. Absolutely. And I'm just going to, um, well, we'll have this for dinner today. Um, and then I'll vacuum seal it. No, I'm not even going to vacuum seal I'm going to put it in the Tupperware because this is going to be gone within the week. This is a good recipe. And I'm not just saying it. Please try it. And those fire roasted tomatoes. I, I've never really cooked with those with that before, really. I think maybe once before, but it really, I didn't say it while I was eating it, but that really came through. In fact, everything came through. I tasted the liquid smoke, um, the what your sister social sauce, the onions, um, everything. Everything just tied together with this. And just what a way, what a remix to a, you know, a stuffed bell pepper, right? But guys, I'll also leave in the description... Um, a link to this Ninja Speedy because it's absolutely fantastic as you can see yet again. And I'll also pin to the comments my playlist because I, I forget where we're on now. We might be on video 38, but I have over 30 for sure uh, Ninja Speedy specific videos that you can check out. And they're videos, I mean, they're, you know, recipes that you're not going to find in the recipe um, book that it came with, nor the app. So, I'm sure you'll find 5 to 10 recipes that you might find uh, valuable and you'll, you know, make them yourselves. Or maybe, hopefully, all 30 of them. <laughs> but, that's all I got. And, uh, of course, the tools that I use and the seasonings, most of them will be in the description, so check that out. But that's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.